In RT41, we're going to use the law of sines. So we're going to start by finding the sine of angle C and the sine of angle B. So with C, my opposite side is little c, my hypotenuse is A. So that will be little c over A. And before I find the sine of B, I'm going to do something kind of weird. I'm going to multiply both sides by A. So I get A times sine of C equals little c. And then I'm going to divide by sine of C. So A equals little c over sine of angle C. Okay, and just keep that in the back of your minds. And I'm going to do the same thing with angle B. In this case, sine of angle B is my opposite side, little b, over my hypotenuse, little a. And again, I'm going to multiply both sides by a. So I get a times sine of big B equals little b, divide by sine of b, and a equals little b over sine of b. And then I'm going to think. If a equals c divided by sine of c and a equals b divided by sine of b, then the transitive property tells me, hey, sine of c div equals the same as b over sine of b. So c over sine c equals b over sine b, and congrats, you just proved the law of sines. Which, if you want to sound fancy, says that for a triangle with angles A, B, and C and sides A, B, and C, side A opposite angle A, side B opposite angle B, etc. Sine A divided by A equals sine B divided by B, which equals sine C divided by C. And I can flip these, but if I flip one, I have to flip all of them. Okay, so I could do all my angles on top, all of my sides on the bottom, or all my sides and all the sines of my angles. Doesn't matter. So we're going to practice this. We're looking for the measure of angle B. That's this angle. I know that the sine of 68 divided by 250 has to equal the sine of B divided by 150. I'm going to cross, multiply, and divide, and it is okay if you do the fish hook. So I'm doing 150 times the sine of 68, divide that by 250. And I get the sine of B equals 0 0.5563, and some change. To undo sine but leave B, I need to do the inverse sign. This will cancel out. There's nothing over here for this to cancel out. So now B equals inverse sign of 0 0.5563 and get B is approximately 33.8 degrees. We're going to do another example. This time we're looking for a side. Sine of 52 divided by 28 has to equal sine of 79 over W. Now I just need to cross multiply and divide to solve for W. I'm going to do the entire thing in my calculator. So I have this sine of 79 times 28. Divide that answer by the sine of 52 degrees. And W equals 34.9. couple more. This time we're asked to find AB. AB is this side. So I know I'm going to use sine of 44 over x. But I can't use 
this measure over the 18. And we're going to call this 63. I know it's a really low quality scan. I put the good ones in your checkpoint, though. I have to use the angle that's across. So I have to use A to angle 18. Or side 18, rather. To figure out angle A, I'm going to go way back to this fall, and I'm going to subtract from 180. So 180 degrees in my triangle total, minus 63, minus 44, and there's 73 degrees left for A. Now that I've got all my numbers filled in, I just need to cross, multiply, and divide. So I have the sine of 44 times 18 divided by the sine of 73, and I get 13.1. This time we're asked to find angle L. So we're going to do another one where I have to use that inverse. Anytime I'm looking for angles, I know I'm going to have to use the inverse. So I'll have the sine of L divided by 6 equals the sine of 125 divided by 10. I'm going to start by cross multiplying and dividing. I'm going to do 6 times the sine of 125 sine of 125, there we go, divided by 10. And on my work, I'm going to write down four digits, but I'm going to use the whole thing. Okay, so if I hit copy on this, then when I take the inverse sign, right, because to undo... Sign, but to leave L, I'm adding the inverse sign on both sides. These cancel out. There's nothing over here for this to cancel out. So L equals inverse sign 0 0.4915. But I'm going to use the entire digit that was in my calculator so that I don't get an internal routing error. Maybe. And it doesn't want to do that. Of course not. Okay. So I'm going to redo that. 6 times sine of 125 divided by 10. I'm going to copy that answer, maybe. It really doesn't want to do that. Okay, I'm going to type in as much of it as I can see from the little m. Okay, it just wasn't showing the M. Go figure. All right, so L equals 29.4 degrees. Cool. We all learned something about technology today. If you are watching this and you're like, mm, I'm not sure I get it, here is another video that walks you through it. Um, you could also rewatch this um, or pop in and ask me some questions.